The biggest star, UI Scooty. UI Scooty, BD 12 degrees 5055, is an extreme red hypergiant or red supergiant star in the constellation Scutum. It is considered one of the largest known stars by radius and is also a pulsating variable star, with a maximum brightness of magnitude 8.29 and a minimum of magnitude 10.56. It has an estimated radius of 1,708 solar radii, 1 1.188 109 kilometers, 7.94 astronomical units, thus a volume nearly 5 billion times that of the Sun. It is approximately 2.9 kiloparsecs, 9,500 light years, from Earth. If placed at the center of the solar system, its photosphere would at least engulf the orbit of Jupiter. UI Scuti was first catalogued in 1860 by German astronomers at the Bonn Observatory who were completing a survey of stars for the bonner Dirchmesterung Stellar Catalog. It was designated BD 12 degrees 5055, the 5055th star between 12 degrees south and 13 degrees south counting from zero hours right ascension. On detection in the second survey, the star was found to have changed slightly in brightness, suggesting that it was a new variable star. In accordance with the international standard for designation of variable stars, it was called UI Scuti, denoting it as the 38th variable star of the constellation Scutum. UI Scuti is located a few degrees north of the A-type star Gamma Scuti and northeast of the Eagle Nebula. Although the star is very luminous, it is, at its brightest, only ninth magnitude is viewed from Earth, due to its distance and location in the zone of avoidance within the Cygnus Rift. UI Scuti is a dust-enshrouded bright red supergiant and is classified as a semi-regular variable with an approximate pulsation period of 740 days. Based on a radius of 1708 r, this pulsation would be an overtone of the fundamental pulsation period, or it may be a fundamental mode corresponding to a smaller radius. In the summer of 2012, amber interferometry with a very large telescope in the Atacama Desert in Chile was used to measure the parameters of three red supergiants near the galactic center region. UI Scuti, Ascorpii, and KW Sagittarii. They determined that all three stars are over 1,000 times bigger than the Sun and over 100,000 times more luminous than the Sun. The star's sizes were calculated using the Rosselin radius, the location at which the optical depth is two-thirds, with distances adopted from earlier publications. UI Scuti was found to be the largest and the most luminous of the three stars measured, at 1,708 plus or minus 192 r. 1.188 109 plus or minus 134 million kilometers, 7.94 plus or minus 0.89 astronomical units, based on an angular diameter of 5.48 plus or minus 0.10 mass and an assumed distance of 2.9 plus or minus 0.317 kiloparsecs, KPC, about 9,500 plus or minus 1,030 light years, which was originally derived in 1970 based on the modeling of the spectrum of UI Scuti. 10. The luminosity is then calculated to be 340,000 liters at an effective temperature of 3,365 plus or minus 134 K, giving an initial mass of 25 M, possibly up to 40 M for a non-rotating star. A hypothetical object traveling at the speed of light would be observed to take about 7 hours to travel along UI Scuti's great circle whereas it would take 14.5 seconds to circle the Sun. Direct measurements of the parallax of UI Scuti published in the Gaia Data Release 2 give a parallax of 0.6433 plus or minus 0.1059 MOS, implying a closer distance of approximately 1.5 kiloparsecs, 4,900 light years, and consequently much lower luminosity and radius values of around 86,300 to 87,100 liters and 755 are respectively. However, the Gaia parallax might be unreliable at least until further observations, due to a very high level of astrometric noise. Gaia Early Data Release 3 has published a parallax of 0.5166 plus or minus 0.0494 MOS for this star, again with a large value for astrometric noise, rated at a significance of 122 where anything over 2 is probably significant. Based on current models of stellar evolution, UI Scuti has begun to fuse helium, and continues to fuse hydrogen in a shell around the core. The location of UI Scuti deep within the Milky Way disk suggests that it is a metal-rich star. After fusing heavy elements, its core will begin to produce iron, disrupting the balance of gravity and radiation in its core and resulting in a core collapse supernova. It is expected that stars like UI Scuti should evolve back to hotter temperatures to become a yellow hypergiant, luminous blue variable, or a wolf rayet star, creating a strong stellar wind that will eject its outer layers and expose the core, before exploding as a type IIB, Eme, or type IB-X supernova.